I just got this package from Hobby King in the U.S. mail. It took like, forever to get here because it came from the International Warehouse. So it's not an unboxing, it's an unbagging, I guess. So let's see what they sent me. Hopefully it's everything I asked for. Okay, that looks like the servo. And that other little thing in there looks like the, our, the uh, sonar. Then I got nuts. And uh, what else did I get? Nuts and bolts. So everything came. It's all in one little bag. I'll show the individual items in a minute. Alright, there's a... I forgot to mention before when I was opening it, I got a receiver controlled switch. That's what that is from Turnigy. Turns the lights on and off through the remote control for the for the receiver. All right, what got what I got going on here now is uh I hooked up the little servo that I bought. Um, I plan on using it as like a searchlight. I'm gonna mount my three LED array. It's three little real bright LEDs right connected to each other with a common output wire and input wire anyway uh, I'm going to mount it on that servo you see it's uh, what I'm doing here is I'm moving the uh, uh, what, what control is that uh, hover throttle I believe it's called the hover throttle pot, pot. and uh, basically I can control which way the light goes I'm going to mount that in the uh, head of the, the craft, the, the, the cover, the cap. So every time I turn this, that'll turn. Big deal, I know. It's just, just a little goodie. It's not going on there until the craft is flying properly, so it'll be a while. Okay, what I did is I modified the feng shui copter a little bit more. I put some, the three... I, these are the old three LED array that I had mounted permanently up on the front. I took them off of there and I put them on a little scoopable servo. And uh, I'm going to wire them into the landing gear. So when the landing gear are down, the light will be on. When the landing gear go up, the light will go off. So that's going to be remotely controlled too by the gear switch. But anyway, here's what we got going on now. As you can see... I got the light mounted on the servo and the servo swivels. You can see the light searching across the room. Uh -huh. What's the dog got in his dish? I don't know. Oh, there's our heater. Oh, yeah. That was, you know, just they're back and forth. There we go. So, just a little feng shui madness to add to the interesting factor, I guess. Blue. <laughs> what do you want to say? Nothing except for I gotta go back to the drawing board and make stronger motor mounts. Okay, I'm still in the test flight phase, obviously. Um, today's flight didn't go real well. Uh, it lifted off really nice and smooth. I changed all the settings on the motors to slow. And it was a nice lift off. It went up. 
went up, started to drift a little. So I, I said, well, I wanted to just go up and bring it down. So that's what I started to do. I started to bring it down. And it came down a little faster than I wanted, so I gave it a little bit extra gas to keep it up, you know, and bring it down smooth. And uh, the minute I gave it that gas, I broke motor mounts. So that's it for the breakaway motor mounts. No more of them because they broke away when I didn't want them to. Um, now I've got the uh, original aluminum motor mounts holding the motor in place. They're directly bolted to the aluminum arms. And then I've got pull ties held together in three ways. I got one over each bolt so it won't come out. And I got a pull tie holding the pull ties together so they won't come apart and fall off. So that's my fix for the, the boo boo that we had today. Try again tomorrow, maybe. I fixed all four arms and uh, the wingspan is a little shorter now it's uh from motor tip to motor tip it's uh, something less than 600 millimeters but I can live with that it's still got a lot of lift 